Hi there, my name is James Miller, and I'll be taking you through this course on Clarice for FX PhD. I'm a generalist artist for Industrial Light and Magic, and I've been using Clarice for about five years now. Clarice is a particularly powerful application because it can handle large amounts of geo and never seems to slow down. It has extremely flexible workflows. And my favorite thing about Clarice is the fact that it's so interactive and it immediately feeds back. It's relatively simple to use once you learn all the components and how an image is put together. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to follow along as we build this shot that I've made. All the assets are already here. So what we're going to concentrate on is bringing those things in, positioning them where we want them. We're then going to bring in different texture types, both UV and projections. We're then going to create triplanar materials, traditional PBR materials, and wire that whole thing up to render and have a look at where all the samples live. Additionally to that, what we're going to look at are some of the new features in 3.5. We're going to look at the scatter, which we've had before, and we're going to decimate that using an occlusion map, but then we're going to break the whole thing down. After that, we're going to take a bit of a look at AOVs and how they've changed in 3.5. As well as having our inbuilt AOVs, we're going to create a few utility nodes. And on top of that, we're going to explore the new Cryptoma output that we have. And we'll also explore the very exciting light path expressions. These will allow you to choose exactly what it is that you want to take out of your scene and use later in Nuke. Finally, we're going to export all of these things, pull them into Nuke, and there we're going to explore how we would use these AOVs to build our image. It's been a lot of fun putting this together for you. I hope you enjoy it and you find it informative, and I look forward to seeing you on the course.